it's Stephanie from Oh Gear Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Welcome back for another tutorial, and today is all about the sunshine. to play once again with some items from the summer crate. This time we're going to play with the citrus mix, which is a bunch, I'm looking at it, a bunch of yellows and oranges. Um, Maggie said in one of the styles in particular, she was trying to emulate a grapefruit. And then it also comes with these fun little plastic uh, fruit as well. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a very sunshiny type of wreath with this assortment, very minimal greenery, um, and we're also going to use a, like we're gonna repurpose a particular wreath. So enough of me explaining what we're gonna do, let's jump into it, shall we? The supplies needed for this particular tutorial, I am using this lovely, um, this is a repurposed because this was actually, it had like other bits and bobs um, sliding down on it. I just like the shape of it and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill just this part with the flowers um, and leave a little bit going on here. We're also gonna use a little bit of this greenery probably. This also came in the summer crate. And here is our assortment. I haven't even taken it out of the bag. So we've got yellows, oranges, pinks, and then our bag of fruit. Hot glue gun, and I'm going to also use a silicone mat to go underneath this because glue is going to fall down. All right, let's jump into it. Now I'm thinking for this one, I might, sometimes I put the, oh, isn't that so pretty, just as is? I sometimes put the greenery in first. I'm kind of digging this now as that lays on there. Oh, that's so pretty. And I don't think we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna see with the flowers. This fern um, can be shaped pretty well. So we're gonna do that there. And then okay, we're gonna break it up into three parts. So then this other piece, again, because we've got wires throughout, so we can kind of make this work to a, our advantage. We'll go that way, okay? Feel good about that. And then this guy, I think we're gonna wait and even this one, I think we're gonna wait. Let's put the greenery in first and then we'll fill it in. Oh my gosh, look at that cute little, okay. We'll fill it in as needed. So let's do that first. Oh, <laughs> it would be super, super helpful if I turned my glue gun on, right? Probably. So in the meantime, cause I wanna get moving along, I'm gonna weave these through. I still kind of want to have some of that showing. Okay, super fun. Let's let's wait on Vikram for a second. I'll be right back and we'll start gluing everything in place. All right, Vikram is ready to go. I've also just kind of pulled out flowers. I'm only gonna use two of these larger ones. And then I have three of the yellows, three of the oranges, and then, okay. I grabbed only, I grabbed three of the yellow billy balls. Well, they're not billy balls, they're pom-poms, but they look like billy balls. Two pink ones and two orange ones. I don't know why I grabbed only two of those. I like these things in threes, but 
it is what it is now and I'm not gonna go searching for them. I've already put them away. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then we got the fruit on the side. We'll use as much or as little as we want. First things first, that is gonna get glued into place. And yeah, I'm gonna crank my music. That's been a theme lately. I'm just gonna put some music on and I'm just gonna craft away. And I, I hope you can do the same. There you have it guys, the over the top sunshine citrus reef. Let me bring this over to you guys real quick. There's a couple that I probably could glue again one more time. I didn't hold them down for long enough. So there is the lovely reef. I get asked this pretty much every time I make a reef. What's the back look like now? Because we used that silicone mat can see little glue marks, they just dry on their flat. And you could actually pick these all off if you want. I'm not going to at the moment, but you could if you wanted to. Okay, let me let me change the angle of this camera. <laughs> and we'll wrap this up. I swear, if that doesn't say summer, I don't know what will. I hope you guys enjoy that tutorial. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And even better, if you'd like, subscribe to our channel. We post at least once a week, sometimes three times. Just depends on the week. And uh, while you're subscribing, make sure to um, ring that bell so that you're notified every time a video goes up. If you'd like to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery, go to ohyourlovely.com. Again, the particular assortment that I used was in our subscription, not subscription. Why do I keep calling that for the, these videos? It's not a subscription. It is a pre-order for a seasonal crate. And the fall one, depending on when you're watching this video, is going to be open for pre-order fairly soon. So definitely sign up for our newsletter if you're interested in that, because we will um, talk about it till we're blue in the face for one whole week. And then that's all, that's all we do. One week, we give you one week of nonstop talking about a seasonal crate. And then we go about our, our day for a couple more months until the next season. <laughs> So make sure to sign up for the newsletter if you're interested in that. And if you just would like to check out our website, let me give you something along your, your journey to our website. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, you guys, I will see you next week for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.